Hi, Greg Lewis, Metastock Software. You're about to watch one of the presentations from the 2017 Online Traders Summit. I know you're going to enjoy it. Before we begin, I want to tell you just a little bit about us here at Metastock. We've been in business for about 30 years. Metastock is about the most powerful platform you can get for the private trader anywhere. You can test, you can scan, you can forecast, you can customize to your heart's content. It's an amazing piece of trading technology. If you'd like to get a free extended trial of Metastock, I encourage you to go to metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one. That's metastock.com slash traders dash summit three for one, or just click one of the links provided. And uh, you can get three months of Metastock for the price of one. That's an amazing deal. I encourage you to do so. I know you won't regret it. Uh, please enjoy the presentation and successful trading. Let's move straight on to Dave Akina. Dave uh, is uh, uh, a, a great trader, uh, also uh, very, very well experienced in the market and in the industry. Dave, well, why don't we kind of bring you online, make sure we can hear you and everything. All right. How's that, Jeff? How's the sound coming through? Doing the, you sound like an angel. <laughs> Well, I guess the filter is working this morning. Uh, I, I appreciate the opportunity to be here, Jeff. Uh, I've done this uh, with you guys uh, for a while now. Yeah, and, how, many, uh, how many times have you done this summit? I don't now? know. I think it's going on three years. Uh, but, you know, within those three years could have been four or five times you guys had to, to suffer through uh, my discussion. So I, I really enjoy this, uh, this program. Um, I actually spend a lot of time... Uh, kind of sitting in the back of the room listening to everybody else and uh, I, I really am I'm very pleased to be associated with such a, uh, a, a good group of, of traders and, and a great platform like Metastock so again thank you again for the invitation and uh, thank you everybody for attending um, just uh, I'll, I'll confirm know. with you I can see your screen and I'm gonna thank just you. turn the time over to you sorry we're about four minutes late uh, we're fine thank you very much Jeff uh, hello again, everybody. Good morning. Uh, thank you very much for uh, being interested in trading to the to the point that you're going to take time out of your weekend uh, to sit and listen to some speakers. Uh, it shows a lot of initiative on your part. Um, you know, trying to learn more about the markets, which we all know are very challenging. Um, if not just the uh, the stocks and bonds and options that we trade, we have to to take into account things like economic reports, uh, events in Washington, D.C., and then, you know, now the weather. So anything we can do to, to help bring you along, to educate you, and to, to give you a leg up, to give you an advantage in the market, that's what we're here for today. So um, I really appreciate, again, your time. Uh, I'm, again, my name is Dave Aquino. Uh, I'm with Basecamp Trading. And uh, I've been an active trader uh, well over 22 years. Now, um, the other thing about me is I've actually been running a stocks and options live trading room for over six plus years. And uh, we've some, developed some very good trading strategies. The one I'm going to talk to you about today is called the Big Fish Trading System. Now, uh, in a way, this is one of those trading tools that is situational. But when opportunity uh, in terms of big potential moves in the market, if you approach it the right way, you could make a significant impact in your trading uh, equity account. Uh, in some cases, my traders have said a couple of these trades a year, when they come about, they make the year. So, uh, again, it's the methodology of how you enter the strategies, and I'm, I'm happy to talk to you about it today. So thank you very much. All right, again, this is my picture. Um, 22 years is a long time to be in the market. Uh, I remember one of the first major calamities that we went through was the Asian financial crisis in 1998. And uh, after that, the dot-com boom, dot-com bust. Um, 
the the pullback, uh, the housing market crisis in 2008. So I've been in, around the block a little bit, and I've seen these different trading environments. The one we're in now is very, very interesting. We've been in a bull market almost very consistently six, seven, eight years now. It depends on where you start. I think there's a tremendous amount of opportunity. There's some volatility going to be entering the market, and I think we should be well positioned to take advantage of it. And that's why I'm talking to you about Big Fish Trading today. I uh, was a broker at 23. I worked in the Vanguard Asset Management Group. Uh, you guys have Vanguard Mutual Funds. Well, uh, I was in the wing that we actually got paid to manage money, and I and I managed the um, the appreciated stock side and creating option strategies to cash flow that. And uh, after I left Vanguard, I joined uh, Value Charts at the time. We're now called Basecamp Trading, and we've been I've been there six years. So it's been a great run. Uh, we make a we we make some great trades, and we have a lot of fun learning. So thanks again for having me. Uh, really quick risk disclaimer, I'm not going to read this to you verbatim, um, but we want you to be careful when you trade because it's not always, uh, you know, um, an easy path. We, we don't want you trading with money you cannot afford to lose, so just be careful, okay? And uh, Rule CFTC 4.41, that's the U.S. government required disclaimer. Again, the government wants you to know you could lose money and... Uh, uh, performance of any trading system is not necessarily indicative of future results. All right, so um, I know you're here for the majority of the day. I congratulate you, but I want you to do something for me specifically, okay? I know a lot of people uh, go in and out. Maybe they take breaks, etc. I want you to stay to the end of my presentation, okay? It's going to be very important because, like I said, uh, we have a lot of stuff going on in the markets now because I want to share with you uh, three potential big fish trades, the trades I'm going to be talking about today, three potential big fish trades that are shaping up in the next few days to maybe a week, week and a half. Okay, And these are trades that have potential to earn thousands of dollars just for staying to the end, just watching my presentation, getting an understanding of how these trades are executed, uh, and then um, watching them over the next uh, several days. So stay to the end. I think you're going to be well rewarded if you do that. All right, so uh, I heard Steve actually use my quote earlier. Uh, I, I, I've, I've trained, I've I presented with Steve Bigelow for, for a number of years, but uh, this is the quote we, uh, we, uh, I actively use as a guideline as to how I teach my traders. Okay, If you give a man a fish, you feed him for a day. If you teach uh, a man to fish, you can feed him for a lifetime. It's very significant because uh, we could spit out trades all day, all week, all month, all year. And that's fine. You're going to catch some winners, etc. But if you don't learn and understand what we are teaching you, then you're never going to be able to do it for yourself. You're always going to be dependent on someone to tell you what you should do. I prefer my traders know what to do, learn what to do, and therefore gain confidence and, uh, ex and and maximize their experience of the time they spend in the market, let alone make a lot of money, okay? That's always the goal, but it's the process that you have to go through, that you always have to keep first and foremost in your mind. All right, anybody know what this is? This is actually... Uh, some of the biggest fish in the in the sea. This is a bluefin tuna, and uh, this picture kind of comes from uh, National Geographic show Wicked Tuna. So those of you asking, what do you mean by big fish? When when these uh, fishermen go out into the ocean, they're fishing for these giant bluefin tuna, and they can weigh several hundred pounds each. Now. They're not out there catching 10, 20, 30 of them. They're catching one or two at a time. Now, these giants can bring in upwards of 5,000, 8,000, 10,000 or more per fish. And for these fishermen, uh, one catch of a substantially uh, large bluefin tuna can make their season. 
okay and this is kind of based on this is the basis of that uh, National Geographic TV show called Wicked Tuna you see they've got a kind of some spin-offs kind of very interesting but I always got caught up with the concept of having a big score having a big win and how does that translate to our traders because you know when you're standing around people that actively trade and you're exchanging stories no one ever talks about the uh, you know the singles and doubles the the everyday sort of wins that we get we talk about the big winners and, and we definitely don't talk about the losers but the big winners are what we focus on now how does that fit into your strategy are you just going by luck or do you actually have a plan to identify and capture those when the opportunity comes about okay so when I'm talking about the big fish trading system I'm going to describe to you and tell you what I mean by big fish it applies to the stock it applies to the trade and the opportunity okay I'm going to talk about that and I'm going to talk about what are the major strategies that we use to identify to trade and to capture the profits on these big fish moves okay and then a derivation of the big fish system uh, I've developed what I call the shark bite trade this is the a more advanced step in that we take that next step we're not only are we trading a big fish trade but we're trading the very first part of the big fish trade to really squeeze out the highest probabilities and highest profitability portion of the trade and then I'm going to show you some real life uh, examples show you that this stuff works and then at the end this is kind of what I'm talking about uh, when I ask you to stay to the end I'm going to show you where the opportunity in the markets are right now because again markets are shaping up to potentially have big fish moves uh, now we haven't had a great uh, opportunity since before the election the markets have been uh, very steady um, and now they're getting volatile and volatility is what you need for big fish trades okay so again let's talk about the big fish trading method that I've been alluding to what do I mean by big fish well big fish is basically the concept of being able to build wealth uh, through large potential profitable trades okay it's the big score it's the big win it's the home run all right now how do you identify and catch that big move how do you know most of you and and uh, I, my traders in my trading room uh, are, are in the same boat they come in and they say Dave how about uh, this stock and like okay and you know, I'll pull up the stock and chances are it's moved you know five ten fifteen percent in a day usually it's a biotech or some company getting taken over uh, th those are nice moves but the only way to uh, get into those trades are uh, for you to have ESP and then you got into the trade the day before it actually moved that's the only way to catch those little small moves now if you're trading what I'm going to show you as big fish stocks inherently they can move a lot just by their nature and by by identifying certain setups you can catch that big move right from the start in some cases before it actually breaks All right. now you always know when you're trading something of big size it's a little dangerous right because it can move uh, just like it can move in your favor it can also move against you how do you manage a big position in a big fish stock with little risk that's something you have to keep in mind because uh, in the long run as long as you can consistently win and consistently have some big gains as long as you don't blow up your account you'll be good okay so manage your position with little risk and then here's probably one of my biggest surprises when my traders started trading big fish trades the biggest problem they had was holding on to it and letting it run to its fullest extent they would they would be amazed at the amount of profits that they had from the initial move and then they would quickly sell it because they were worried it would disappear on them
I know a lot of you uh, have that same fear from time to time. Um, you know, the, it, it was it was a dream. It evaporated, and and now I'm I'm back at square one, or worse, at a loss. How do you let it run and maximize that profit? Because you don't want to look at it three days later and realize you could have doubled or tripled your profits. All right, so let's hit them one by one. What do I mean by big fish? A big fish trade is a winning trade of sufficient profits that can make a sizable impact on your trading account. Now, again, I'm looking for the home run in this case. I'm looking for a 100% return. I'm going to double the amount that I commit to the trade. And I want to do it quickly. I don't want to hold the stock for a year and a half and, and double it. Even though that's nice, I don't want to do that. I want to be able to get my profits back in uh, in a relatively short time frame. So I want to hit a home run, and I want to hit it quick. <clears throat> and I want to be able to control my risk. I want to minimize that as much as possible. Because those of you that have been around the block a while know that the entry and that period of time in which your 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 stock is kind of your position is flat neutral and all of a sudden it uh, either breaks positive or breaks negative you want to minimize that if it breaks against you but um, but hold as it as it breaks your way okay so you want to do that with minimum risk and the result of this breakout should be a two to five percent increase in your trading account from one trade and I'll talk about that structure also. All right, so your trading account is the is the uh, the means by which you can earn in the market. And long term success is built upon a steady increase in value in that trading account. All right, now your goal as a trader should be steady growth. You want to take consistent trades with consistent setups, making consistent profits, and keeping your losses small. That's what you do on a daily and weekly basis. Now, think about what that would look like if every once in a while, when the market presented itself, <clears throat> you had a big fish winner. You landed one of those giant bluefin tuna, and you got an extra amount in your account. Can you imagine what that would compound, help compound your account to look like? It would be instead of a, a, a curve that looks like this, it would actually be up, spike, up, spike, you know. The, the rate of change in something like that is much greater than a relatively steady flat curve, okay. You want to grow your account smartly. Uh, but also take advantage of big fish winners because big winners can have a huge impact long term. All right, so building wealth by large profitable trades. What do we mean? Uh, let's talk about big fish moves. All right, uh, um, well, a big move is uh, for a big fish is when we're trading big fish stocks that is a large dollar value stock okay I'm not talking about something off the pink sheets who are worth less than five dollars I'm actually not even talking about stocks that are a hundred dollars or less I want large dollar value stocks that move a lot that's why I say they have to be large average true range that's the high to the low um, movement in a day you want those to be relatively big and you want these stocks to make strong directional moves on a regular basis uh, I, you can't trade a big fish trade in a stock that increases in value you know 10 15 cents a day you just can't do it you want a stock that can move 10 12 15 20 dollars in a day it doesn't have to move in a straight line uh, over time, but you need that movement, okay? Because these are the stocks, either they're ETFs or stocks, that have highly liquid options. And we're going to use that leverage to get that home run kind of power, okay? We're talking about Priceline, Netflix, Google, CMG, Amazon, Tesla. And then the ETFs, QQQ, SPY, and IWM. Now these, those of you that know them, 
usually around a hundred hundred and fifty dollars so the problem is you just need a lot of them they're still big fish because they move it's just a different kind of big fish but the ones that I'm primarily talking about are these individual stocks here okay so let's just take a look at probably my favorite list of big fish stocks that I watch every day Priceline Google I call it I call it Google because I was trading it before it changed to that crazy name alphabet but okay whatever G-O-O-G-L uh, SPX Tesla and Amazon okay a lot of you have asked um, you know do you have a scanner or things like that I prefer <clears throat> to watch potential big fish stocks very closely on a regular basis. So I'm not thrown off by news or earnings or anything like that. If you're just using a scanner, you don't necessarily have the time to understand a stock in depth. And you need to know that because when it makes a big move, you want to know if it's the nature of the stock or is it a one-time thing because something happened to it. Okay, so this is the list that I primarily watch right now, and uh, these are the prices. And this is what I mean by big daily moves. Look at the average true range. Um, these are some numbers I just pulled down recently. Okay, so these stocks have the ability to move uh, in, a, in a very quick uh, fashion. It's almost like Priceline. How can Priceline move $100 in a week? Well, if you see that on average it moves 27 a day, if you have four days that it's falling, it can move $100 up or down. So that's not out of the question. Same thing for Amazon. Is it out of the question for Amazon to have a $25 move? No, not really. It's, it's in the ballpark of that average true range. Okay, And by using stocks that have the ability to move, you have the ability to make a lot of money all right I always tell my traders if the market if the stock if the index if it's not moving there's nothing we can do to force that stock to make us help us make money okay if I have a stock that's moving up and down 10 cents I can't trade it okay unless I'm trading you know 10,000 shares it's not going to be the greatest return but it, the, the, the premise is a stock has to move in order for you to make money and not a percentage move but a dollar size move alright so now that we know what we mean by big fish stocks and big fish moves okay how do I find these big moves well when we trade in my trading room we use multiple time frames we use the daily we use the hourly uh, sometimes we'll peak at a weekly but not normally and then sometimes we'll use a 10 or a 15 or a 5 minute time frame by the using by using multiple time frames we're going to see different types of opportunities now i like the longer term time frame primarily the daily and sometimes the weekly to identify turns or changes in momentum you know like a breakout maybe it's consolidating and it breaks higher all right I love to catch big fish breakouts at these levels in this time frame okay because this is the biggest potential move all right and then I also use short-term time frames why well I want to use them to identify a very uh, relatively good risk reward entry okay I don't necessarily want to enter on the basis of what the daily is telling me because the stop losses will be huge all right I want to use a small time frame to kind of either uh, get in and, and have a much more manageable stop loss but also I'll be able to see the move on the daily time I mean sorry the the smaller time frame way before the entry on the bigger time frame okay think about it if the stock starts to fall on the daily all right don't you think you would have known it probably a couple of hours earlier on a five or a 15 minute because the small time frame has to fall before the big time frame it, it's almost like a snowball effect you can't see if you see that gigantic snowball rolling down the hill well it started really really small and that's why we look at the small time frame okay 
All right, so these entry trades are very important because just like real estate, how you buy determines your profits. And in, in the case of trading, how you buy determines your risk also. So entry trades, I'm looking at the long-term time frame to say, hey, I think that's going higher or lower or breaking out or reversing. That shows up on the bigger time frame, the daily, sometimes even the hourly. But I'm using a small time frame like a five minute or a 10 minute to enter the trade well. All right. So standard bullish opportunities that I'm looking for on a long term time frame, divergences, okay, uh, wedges. Uh, these are consolidation patterns or pennants. And then if it's consolidating like in a channel and it breaks through resistance and it goes higher, I want to trade that. It's the same thing with a bearish opportunity, again, on the hourly or the daily. I'm looking for bearish divergences, okay, continuation pattern, all right? Um, uh, I'm sorry, divergences and reversals. I'm looking for wedges and pendants, and then I'm looking for bearish breakouts, a break of support, something that is going to fall, okay? All right, so how do you manage that? Let's say you see it, it's going to fall. You enter the trade uh, on a small time frame like I showed you. Uh, um, and then how do I manage that position? I'm, I'm sitting there holding it. Well, this is where we go back to the short time frame again. Now we are entering the trade based on the short time frame. Let's just say uh, I, I'm bearish. Well, I'm looking for a bearish trade setup or a bearish breakout. Uh, on the small time frame and once it starts to break I get in guess what now I have a little profit cushion and I can hold even longer for the longer time frame all right once you get a position in a place and it starts to move your way you want to move your stop loss as quickly as possible to a break even or we call it a no risk stop loss okay Remember, I want you to kind of focus on this. An entry trade on a small time frame is your way to get your foot in the door. You're not looking for a $10, $50, $100 profit per contract. You want to get your foot in the door with a small time frame trade because you feel that it can move much, much further based on the longer term time frame. Okay? Now, sometimes uh, when you're getting a breakout uh, on a big time frame, sometimes it bounces around. You could get stopped out at break even several times, okay? Remember, your goal is to get into position for the much larger move, all right? You're aiming for the big fish. You're not fishing for the little tiny tuna, you know, the little tiny sardines. You're out there trying to catch one of those big fin tuna. So you need to be patient, okay? Move your stop loss to break even as quickly as possible once you enter and then be in position for the larger move, all right? Now what? Now that you have profits on the line, now it's going your way, it's breaking your way. This is the hardest part for some people. I've never had a $100 profit. I've never had a $500 profit. I've never had a $1,000 profit, okay? Little story. I got a call in the middle of a webinar I was doing one uh, last winter. It was a snowy, it was a snowy winter's night. It was a Thursday night and I get a call in the middle of a webinar. And I take this call because I recognize it was a lady that I had been mentoring. She just finished taking the big fish trade. She calls me. She says, Dave, I, mean, I need to talk to you. I'm like, you know, doctor, I'm, I'm on the phone right. I mean, I'm on a webinar right now. She said, I'm in the webinar too. She said, I want to let you know I'm in that trade and I'm up $100,000. <laughs> My first reaction wasn't congratulations. My first reaction was to scold her like how many contracts did you take and and she did take a sizable number of contracts and but uh, the long story short she uh, she had a very nice Christmas that year so anyway the biggest problem she had was now what do I do with these profits on the line okay well once you get in position you gotta land that big fish you gotta maintain your position and let your winners run, okay? You already have a profit cushion. You just need to trail your stop properly on the bigger time frame, 
okay what recent pullbacks you have to also identify on the long-term time frame a very rational idea of how far it can go okay you got to construct your exit plan on the longer term time frame to identify potential support and resistance levels maybe you're looking at the simple and exponential moving averages I use the 8 and the 50 and these are uh, as it's moving where is it going to have uh, the where is it going to stop where is it going to stop and maybe ponder a level and then maybe continue on because these things don't move in a straight line okay maybe you're trading a reversal and you're going to look at your Fibonacci retracements a lot of times uh, if I'm taking a reversal I'm looking at the 50 percent retracement on Fibonacci all right and then maybe there's a weekly daily weekly or monthly support and resistance level one time I traded a reversal in um, in Amazon it was off the yearly low it was amazing I came down hit the yearly low and then it reversed for the next uh, couple of weeks to a 50% retracement that was a massive big fish move okay and in the big fish strategy we actually teach you how to plan out and stage your profit targets so we take a little bit of profit at a time so we're not only are we making money but we are also preserving the ability to let that winner run to maximize as much as possible your gain I'm not looking to make 100% of every single penny on every single contract uh, for the entire move that I'm trading no no I want to take a little bit at a time now there are times when that last portion of your your position just runs and runs and runs and that's the benefit of letting your winner run but sometimes it turns around and you you walk away with a nice sizable profit and that's great too because you're doing both you're 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 taking profits so you're rewarded for your trade and your risk but you're allowing some portion of your position to continue to run in case it is a not just a home run but a grand slam okay all right so big fish recap step by step we are going to pay attention to potential big fish stocks on a regular basis and we're watching the daily time frame for potential big moves all right we're going to apply and use multiple time frames to identify both the opportunity on the long time frame and the entry trade on the short time frame okay i'm going to use entry trades to minimize my risk now I wasn't very clear on this sorry about that if I'm using a short-term time frame as an entry trade all right I'm gonna minimize my risk because my stop is based on what the short time frame I don't have to have uh, a 10 point stop loss I can have a one one point stop loss or a one dollar stop loss because my stop loss is based on the short-term time frame not the long one okay and then the la the, the next to the last step is the develop a exit strategy once you're in the trade identify how far it's going to move what are the potential uh, places that it, the, the move will stop and maybe reverse well those are logical places to take some profits but you always want to keep one to to run and then you're going to maximize that profit in a very methodical way okay and then this is the shark bite trade I was talking about and I'm going to teach that to you in this program also the you're gonna learn how to trade the explosive move that always occurs at the beginning of a big fish trade whenever you take a breakout you break support doesn't it look pretty scary the first day as that stock is falling and the bar is really red and it's really long that is the very first explosive move and if you've identified that as a big fish opportunity and you bought puts to take advantage of a breakdown of support you're making money all the way down and that move is not only fast but when you're trading options it actually tends to magnify and, and it's almost like the 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 um 
the options become overvalued. You know, they're they're like running ahead of themselves. So you actually get to sell it for a little bit more than natural movement is worth, especially to the downside. Puts get very expensive very quickly, and you're selling it. So that by all more power to you, making a lot of money. So that is the explosive move at the beginning of a big fish trade. So let's actually look at a big fish trade uh, in Priceline and, and experience uh, kind of how this stuff works and proof that this stuff works. Now this is a trade in Priceline and I'll be honest with you, Priceline is probably one of my favorite big fish stocks to trade, okay? You, you're going to know that because Priceline has the potential to move a tremendous amount in a very short period amount of time. Now this particular price line trade was actually very unique because it was just a pullback to the exponential moving average, the 8 EMA on the daily. I, I, I'll explain it to you. Um, here we go. Uh, I'm just looking at price line. It gets a little bit away from the 8 EMA and it does that for a number of days. Now I know how price line trades. It, it makes these periodic pullbacks check-ins with the 8 EMA. Once is going to do it to the upside, does it to the downside too. If it gets extended too far, it'll quick pull back. Um, extended too far and then it'll quick pull back. So uh, I'm, I'm trading the pullback. Okay, so Priceline actually comes down and makes a bottoming pattern here. Uh, the reason why I say it makes a bottoming pattern because on the on the hourly, this is uh, an inverted head and shoulders at a known resistance level. And it proceeds to move up for the next eight days. That's a little much. So what I'm looking for is a pullback to the 8 EMA. We keep making higher highs, higher lows, and we seem to be getting further and further away from the exponential moving average. Okay. So I'm playing that and we actually get that opportunity right in here. Now, how do you play that? Well, I'm just identifying bearish trades, maybe at the high of the day. And then if it starts to pull back, I'll take advantage of that. All right. So I'm looking for intraday bearish trades. Now I could make money just trading intraday bearish trades all day long. Um, but in this particular case, I have in the back of my mind, hey, look out, it may pull back. Okay, so uh, long story short, Priceline, uh, and this is uh, last year, I believe. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the year. These, like I said, I've been doing this for six years. Um, Priceline, it's probably the year before. Priceline moved from 1312 down to 1257. Okay, that uh, that move move $55 in two days. Remember what I said? That large average true range stock has the ability to move well. $55 in two days. That, and I traded it with 20 contracts, made $63,000 with 20 contracts. Now, if you uh, divide that um, by 20, uh, you know, how much is that? Uh, that's, that's a little more than $3,100 per contract. Not bad for two days worth of trading. How about this trade? Now this one is in Google. Uh, we actually get a topping pattern here. Uh, you got one top, two top, momentum's dropping. We're looking for this pullback. I'm actually looking for a much bigger move. We didn't quite get that, but what we did get before this bounce and we got stopped out because of our trailing stop, we get a $14 move. And um, that $14 move resulted in a profit on, let me just see, uh, 20 contracts of nearly $11,000. That's $500, $550 per contract on that pullback. Again, that's probably about uh, three or four days worth of price movement. One, two, three, yeah, going into the fourth day, pullback. Amazing. Um, let's see here, this, oh, this was the first one. We bounce up, this is what we call the right shoulder on a head and shoulders pattern and we go down again. Uh, another move, 
um, this one was nearly twelve thousand dollars on uh, 20 contracts so roughly almost six hundred dollars a contract and you can see I, I sold it short on the bounce I, I took my profits too early it fell another uh, another probably would have doubled that closer to twenty thousand if I would held it so again twenty thousand in Google uh, nearly six hundred dollars a contract okay and those are trades that worked out what sometimes when we we're trading a breakout okay this one again is in Priceline I told you I love Priceline Priceline is at this price level roughly uh, 1190 all right and I'm looking for this thing to drop from 1190 down to 1135 because again this is a well-established support level but there's a lot of momentum you can kind of see here on my chart so wow it's going to come to that support it's going to break through and it's going to drop to the next level which is uh, 1135 okay so it's a, I'm looking for a $55 move so what do I do I trade small positions trying to catch the breakdown each and every single day all right the first day we we I get in near the high we accelerate to the downside I'm trading 10 contracts I made a little over eleven thousand dollars it didn't break it just moved so much in the day that as it was accelerating downward um, okay it didn't break support so I just take I get stopped out with my trailing stop I made some money I try it the next day trying to make uh, get that breakout I'm, I'm I want to get my foot in the door so we can accelerate this move to the downside that gain right there on 10 contracts that failed to break was a little less than 10,000 and then the last day I held it a little bit longer and then I got caught in the bounce so I gave up about 40% uh, of my profit but I only made 6,000 on that three days in a row we're trying to catch that break guess what it never breaks that support we go down we go back up all right by using small time frames and using them smartly and trailing that stop we take advantage of intraday price movement and position ourselves for a big trade to the downside a little disappointed we'd never broke but it, it my um, my pain is alleviated by the fact we did fairly well this is we we made uh, two thousand seven hundred dollars per contract over three days waiting for something that never occurred okay so not only can you set yourself up for success if it does go your way but you trade smartly uh, on that small time frame you can still walk away with with profits at worst break even all right so again quick run through this part this is the shark bite trade you know what is the first what is the what part of a big move has the highest probability of success okay what part of a big move has the greatest price momentum if it breaks where is it going to move the fastest okay that what I'm here's a as a double bottom and we're we're breaking the neckline and we're going to go higher well the 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 when it hits breaks that resistance and it accelerates the fastest part is the part that because uh, I'm looking for an $85 move to the upside again that's price line okay the first half the first half of the move if I think it's going to be in this case a 50% retracement back up to this level well I'm looking for this first half okay does that make sense that's going to be the quickest part all right it is the biggest and quickest profit that you're going to make in a big fish move all right so this is the first 50 percent it breaks 1060 it's heading up to I think it was 1140 and uh, so the first forty dollars is the easiest you notice it takes about two and a half days to move forty dollars the second portion here takes about four or five days to move from 1100 to 1140 so I want to make money in the quickest portion of the trade and that's the basis of the shark bite trade all right I'm using conservative at the money debit spreads or aggressive out of the money debit spreads 
and I'm using aggressive strike prices for those trades. Now, I could also do credit spreads um, if, if you want, kind of uh, barbelling them. One side is a debit spread, one side is a credit spread to offset the cost. Okay, in some cases, uh, when it's a reversal, I'm using Fibonacci to kind of target how far it's going to move. Or if it's a breakout, I'm going to look for the next support and resistance levels. Okay, again, all in all, this uh, move moved $85. I took the first $40 very quickly. And uh, with this, I think it was 20, maybe 25 trades. Uh, these are some additional, this right here. Um, oh, why did we take a loss here? That was the, the last part that I was kind of stopped out with. So that's okay. I kept piling on the, the trades and, and it worked out. So big fish trade uh, right there, uh, initial move, and it just compiled. Uh, it was 30 contracts first and then 10, 10, 10 that I added. So, I mean, that's an explosive move. That's very similar to the one we did when that doctor called me in the middle of my webinar. Okay, that's extremely uh, fast. And then if you did the shark bite trade, you had the opportunity to tack on uh, an additional 13,000 onto that. Now, again, these are $20, 20 contract positions. So if you just have one contract, it is uh, you're you're looking at about uh, 700, uh, 650 uh, on this trade, 650 dollars a contract, and the first 50 percent of the move. That's only two and a half days. Okay, I mean those profits. I don't mean to just throw those numbers out at you. I know that um, some of you don't have that big an account, and that's fine because there's a lot of opportunity even with just single contracts. All right, so here is kind of the opportunity with the Big Fish trading system. All right, the Big Fish trading system can catch massive explosive moves in Big Fish stocks and ETFs. Uh, the, the program is designed to help you get into trades early and manage the position with relatively little risk. Okay, it, it, it's structured in a way that you have a trading plan that you understand uh, the execution of a big fish strategy and you also understand how to take your profits and maximize it to the greatest extent possible while still letting the winners run. And then I'm going to include uh, what I call the shark bite trade for that extra bonus right at the beginning. Because if you think about it, if you take a big fish trade and you make anywhere from 50% to two-thirds of your profit in the very first part of the move and you take that and you put it in your pocket, imagine how easy it is to let the remaining part of your winners run. You already have a very nice profit. You're smiling because you still have a position to take advantage of any uh, additional movement. That's a very comfortable place to be. Okay, unless you're extremely greedy, then I can't help you. But if you're satisfied with a high level of success and the potential to make a lot more, it's a, it's a beautiful way to trade. All right, so this uh, new uh, Big Fish breakout course for this Metastock program, uh, I put it together, and um, it is uh, a program that we've run in the past, and uh, we, we've... Uh, We've had this program on sale in, it, in all its components, and it totals a value well over $1,000. For We've kind of combined it all for this Metastock program, and um, we were doing the complete trading system. Uh, they are on-demand video, so you don't have to wait at all for it. And I wouldn't really recommend you wait because, again, the trades I'm going to show you, they're in the water now. They're, they're, getting, set, they're getting ready to potentially move uh, very, very soon, as early as next week even. The program we're going to give you to you today at $297. Now, the link is in your chat box right now. It's www.bct now.com that stands for base camp trading bct now.com slash metastock all you have to do is click on the link and you'll you'll come to the uh the page it kind of looks like this okay bct now.com slash metastock 
just put your uh, billing information, etc., and you're going and credit card information, and boom, you'll have that order by uh, extremely soon, um, by the end of the day. Okay, so that is a tremendous value. It's almost like a seventy percent discount at two ninety seven. Now think about it like this. Okay. We had trades uh, that, you know, in the big fish trade that failed, okay? This trade failed to break and do what I thought it was going to do. If you follow the methodology, you have the ability to earn hundreds if not thousands of dollars. Uh, again, it failed, you know, but the, the reason why we made money is because the methodology was sound. Uh, on the small time frame, we were still able to make money as we were setting things up for a potential bigger move. All right. Now these moves here in Google, uh, these are very straightforward trades. They pop up all the time. Ever heard of a double top? A little pullback. This is a head and shoulder span. This is the right shoulder pullback. These are very easy to identify. The question is, how are you going to take advantage of them? You know, every time you pull up your your stock charts and you say, "Oh, wow, that thing moved," you know. $20. That is potential profit that you could have been in on. Again, the, the link is www.bctnow.com slash metastock. All right. And again, this one, <laughs> I, I, I tell you, if all you do is watch Priceline and you catch one or two of these trades a year, you're going to be a very, very successful trader. I mean, even long term. And yeah, you know what? Priceline may not be around forever. There'll be something else. Okay? I used to trade Dell a lot. And Dell would move very similarly. All right? So 297 is a drop in the bucket compared to what you can earn. All right? So again, let's jump right to it. Thank you. You stayed to the end of my presentation. I do have about four more minutes. So uh, I, I, you guys have asked uh, pretty good questions. Thank you. Uh, you can do this with stocks if you would like, but um, options are the leverage. Okay. Do I do one big fish at a time? I've never, let me put it this way, I've never done simultaneous big fish trades. But there is an opportunity, the one I'm going to show you, I may just do that. So let's go ahead and jump right there. Thank you. What is in the water right now? What should you be watching next week? What can you use this strategy on? All right. So the Big Fish Trading System, take a look at it because you need to watch the QQQs. Okay. We're going to start with a very high level, um, the QQQs. This is the NASDAQ. If it breaks below 144, Check the momentum because chances are it's going to drop down to 142 and a half. And if the market is continuing that uh, with strong bearish momentum, then it's going to go down to 141. Okay. That's, I, I wanted to warm you up with a good trade. All right. That's potentially $200 a contract. If you're trading an in the money Delta 60 to Delta 70 option that expires a couple of weeks from now. Okay. Those are the parameters that you could trade this with. That's a big fish trade that could earn you $200 a contract. It, it might say, Dave, that's not very impressive, but guess what? That's actually, you can buy a number of those because QQQ's uh, options are very cheap. Okay, you can, you can scale it up based on what you need. So if you have a small account, just do a couple. If you have a bigger account, do more. All right, the next one you should watch is Tesla. All right. Tesla's been having a bear of a time getting any traction higher. If the market is weaker, if the QQQs are falling, Tesla has a good chance to drop. So look for a break below 341.5, going down to 331. Then down, if it breaks that level, goes down to 310. All right, you're looking at almost a $31 move, $32 move to the downside. Guys, that is roughly $2,100 a contract for one contract. Now, you have to be careful because Tesla is a little jumpy. You have to manage it with the big fish method. You can't just say, okay, I'm just going to, you know, throw a couple hundred dollars down or a thousand dollars down. You've got to be careful with this and you have to manage based on a smaller time frame, manage your risk, 
but position yourself for that long-term move to the downside, 31 to $32 in Tesla. And then this is the one. Remember I told you I love Priceline? Guys, I haven't had a good Priceline trade in probably six months. So be ready, all right? If Priceline breaks 1837, okay, look for it to drop all the way down to 1806. I even say 1800. If it breaks this level, 1806, 1800, it's going down, all right? The first move is $31. The second move is $32. Folks, that's potentially $4,000 a contract. But again, if you're going to play with power tools, you better do it the right way. And you better understand the Big Fish trading system to take advantage of that. But one trade, can make your year. One contract, one trade, works your way. You got to know how to hold it also because Priceline can move a lot and you just got to hold on tight, have your method, your exit strategy that I'm going to, that I teach you in the, in the program, you're going to get it. All right. $4,000 a contract. Folks, you know, think about that. Potentially $4,000 a contract. I'm asking you less than 10% of that potential value. It's 297. It's a really good deal. All right. So are you going to be ready for these upcoming trades? Because if anything happens poorly in the world, markets are going to break. NASDAQ's been very weak in the past couple of days. All right. Oh, one more thing. Almost forgot. Those of you that sign up today, you're going to be included in my fast start uh, program. Okay. This is just for you first 25 Metastock signups today. I'm going to be setting out, sending out Big Fish weekly update videos for the next four weeks. You know those trades I just showed you? If they break, I will make an announcement and then I will follow up with these weekly updates. I'm going to have one to three potential uh, in the money now, in the, in the water now trades. So maybe in addition to the ones I just showed you, potential profits in these could be you know, anywhere from 200 to thousands of dollars per contract. Okay, you can easily make back your workshop costs and more. The value of this, uh, this uh, fast start program is easily $750 a month, but it's a bonus for you today, no extra cost, if you sign up for the Big Fish trading program. Okay, so QQQ, potentially $200 a contract, Tesla, $2,100 a contract, Priceline, $4,000 a contract. What are you waiting for? I mean, Imagine how much you're leaving on the table if you don't take advantage of this. Okay, so again, the uh, the link in the chat box is www.bctnow.com slash metastock. Again, I'm going to paste it one last time in the chat box. going to send it out to you. Okay, and there you go. All right. So again, I look forward to hearing uh, the success stories that you guys have. And uh, I, I think that this is a tremendous opportunity. Uh, I, I know um, a lot of my traders have been uh, uh, chomping at the bit, waiting for these uh, big fish trades. They're coming down the pike, folks. So think of me next week if the market takes a dip because uh, we're going to be in the middle of it and uh, we're going to be at the, um, uh, the, the point of opportunity. So I hope you join me. Uh, take the Big Fish Trading System uh, offer today, and uh, I will see you uh, in the Fast Start program. Thanks, Dave. Great job. Thanks Good having me. <laughs> All right, very cool. Uh, how's everything going, guys? You enjoying the class today? Let me know. All right. Uh, a special thanks to Dave Pina. That was a great little class that he did. Um, we're going to go ahead and start moving on. Uh, hope you guys are enjoying it. Uh, one thing that I will say, we're getting a lot of questions. I'm going to cover a few of those questions about recordings. This seems to be the biggest one. Uh, the recordings will be available. It's going to be obviously like seven, eight hours of recordings. Um, it takes a while for Greg Lewis and our video, video and marketing team to actually kind of get them all converted. So when those are available, I will personally email you uh, the links when they're available. Uh, another question we get is about the bonus offers. As you noticed, we had a lot of swag that was available when you registered. Hopefully you signed up for the offers. Uh, there are a lot of really cool free stuff in there. 
the way that works is I'm going to actually kind of distribute to the speakers' companies um, the emails of who wants to sign up uh, over the weekend. And so er by early next week, you should be getting those bonus offers. So that's how that works. Um, thanks for coming, too, by the way. Uh, do want to kind of just mention our Traders Toolbox. Uh, we're going uh, to be having Wendy Kirkland up next. Uh, you know, today we've got really three really good add-ons that we're highlighting. They're the Bigelow Candle Profit Systems, the Kirkland Automatic Swing Trader, the Rick Sadler's Products for Profits. And we're offering those at a fairly, like if you buy all of those to use with Metastock, that'll cost you about $1,297. We're doing a special summit price on them where if you do all three of them, you'll get $899. And I'm going to go into Metastock in a couple hours here. We've got two speakers in the way, or in, before in the way, before me. Uh, but I'll go into a little bit of detail about why Metastock is such a cool product, why it's been rated number one for 25 years in a row, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, we'll also, as part of that package, in addition to getting all three of those add-ons, you're going to get two years of Stocks and Commodities magazine. Shout out to them to sponsoring today's event. We'll give you three, a three months of access to Metastock. I'll do a special boot camp with you that kind of talks to you about how to use the add-ons. I'm going to run that September 21st at 6 p.m. Eastern. We'll also give you a home study course that you can use to run that. So to take advantage of that today, give us a call, 800-882-3040, or visit us online at metastock.com slash sales chat. And uh, we've got a couple of guys here that are, uh, that are waiting for you. They came in hoping that you'd call and chat in. A uh, very, very couple of really good, nice young guys that will help take care of you. I uh, do want to thank our sponsor, Stocks and Commodities Magazine. They've been sponsoring uh, the Online Trading Summit since the very first one that we did, and there's been a lot of them since then, but we really appreciate their sponsorship. It's a great magazine. Uh, hopefully you signed up for a free copy when you registered uh, at metastock.com slash trader summit. You can go back there and request a free copy. I just love getting my Stocks and Commodities Magazine every month. I read it probably cover to cover. Uh, most times. So, um, Also, if you take advantage of any of the Metastock offers today, they're going to give you at least a five-month subscription. And if you spend like 300 bucks, you get a two-year subscription. So, um, And we'll talk more about Metastock, but you know, it helps you scan the market, test trading ideas, uh, it does forecasting, it does real-time alerts, commentary, signals. All of that starts at about 60 bucks a month. Uh, and you can actually buy one month and get three months uh, for the price of one. Uh, so metastock.com slash Traders Summit 3 for 1 if you want to do that. Or give us a call. Again, that phone number is 800-882-3040.